Hi, Ken. Hi. Well, it's just I have a magnifying glass if you want to look at it. Just do your hand. <laughs> you can really see the magnification through this, too. Um, okay, so Ken, we got to go to bed pretty soon. So can yeah, you... I've already done a video before this on this problem. Yeah, I know. So it will... these are almost, almost the same problems. Are they? You haven't even read the second one. Maybe it's totally different. Well, it doesn't know what because it doesn't. Because it looks the same? So, let's read it. I want number three. So, on the next page, it's really interesting that he just told me that. So, the curve y equals f of x passes through point 2, comma, negative 1. Find f of x when the slope of the tangent line at point x, comma, y on the curve is expressed at, oh, no, as negative 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Oh, my ear, it's killing me. You okay? It's like an earache. Is it from swimming today? Dude, like some water stuck in my ear and it's been, I can't hear out of it for the whole day. You okay? It's clogged. Okay, well, let's go to the bottom. First thing, f prime of x. Equals, just copy this. Negative 3x squared plus 2x uh, minus 1. Why is it that? Well, that's the same thing as this. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just <laughs> I was just asking you. Okay, go ahead. Why are you alive, Daddy? Why am I alive? Yeah. So you're doing the same thing to me now? <laughs> just asking me? <laughs> okay, well next thing is find f of x. Equals the big, the big skinny ass. That looks really skinny. Not like this one. This one's fat. <laughs> <laughs> more, more than the obese. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a more than the obese one. But well, well, let's go. So, um, so we wrote the big ass. Now, copy this down. Negative three x squared plus two x. Minus one. Well, dx is for all of this, not just, so I'm just going to put dx right here. So, which equals, I've already, ne negative three, um, negative three over, no, negative, well, three over three is one. So, negative, um, x cubed. And then 2x, um, no, the, driv the integral of 2x um, is 2 over 2, which is 1 again, and then x squared, oh, <laughs> no, no uh, coefficients. That's right. And then just like on my formula, if it's a constant, just add x to it. So, negative. No, no coefficients. <laughs> Well, you can consider oh, the negatives. Oh, I almost forgot something. What's that? Oh, sweet. That's right. You're so cute, Ken. Um, that's a great formula you have. Um, but, yeah, that's fine. You can keep calling it your formula. Okay. Oh, what were you going to say? <laughs> well, you said my formula for for getting the integrals of something. And you did come up with it, and I'm very proud of you for coming up with a formula. But um, I think it's pretty well known how to get integrals of constants. But I don't think they said, like, the same atom in the same voice. That's true. <laughs> I don't think anyone has the same voice as me. Okay, so you can call it your formula. You're right. Okay. Okay, go ahead. What about the in formula? It's part of my name. <laughs> in formula. <laughs> so, so, so here, I'm just going to get back with the one. We did that part of X. Now we factored it here. But what about the C? What do you know about it? We can't get rid of it. Well, we're going to have to find out what C is. Well, if you read this problem, I'm going to give you some time. So if you read it right now, and if you're a fast reader, you would look at X equals 2 comma negative 1. So, X, so then F of 2 equals negative 1. 
So if f of 2 equals negative 1, so let's write it down. We could, we could plug it into this equation and get c. But we have to set it equal to negative 1 because that's the y value. So, um, so now c equals, well, let's plug in 2 for x. 2 cubed equals, so a, so then negative 8 plus 4, negative 4 minus 2, negative 6, C, C minus 6, I don't even want to say C. C minus 6 equals negative 1. C equals 5. Very good, Ken. So now we know what f of x equals. f of x equals... How much is need to make that a little longer? So we just, pl we just go in here and plug in C equals 5. So negative x cubed plus x squared minus x um, and then plus 5. Well, that's the end of our poem, so bye! <laughs> You're so amazing, Ken.